This is Twit. There's a site, um, uh, WP Engine, which is a, a major uh, word perfect hosting site that did a beautiful, I mean, a, just a really fun analysis of, of two different password databases. They pulled them together and um, uh, did a, a, a very nice analysis. One, one, of the, one of the nicest that I've, that I've seen in a while that I thought would just be fun to talk about for a second. For example, by because of the depth of information they had about the account holders, they've been able to give us some demographics that we haven't seen before. Uh, for example, they know the they did a, a chart of the birth decades from, okay, of the 10 million total account holders whose passwords they have, 220 of those accounts included date of births. Um, so they were able to show a chart. And the, the, the highest um, incidence of date of births of People in this 220,000 subset, uh, like nearly looks like maybe 95 percent. Wait, this doesn't sum to that's 100. not percent, it's not oh, it's, oh, it's in thousands, it's yeah. in thousands. Okay, right. Um, 95,000. So, but, but it is percent would have been more, more useful because uh, this is just raw numbers. I mean, there are probably yeah, more do, users from that cohort. We do know that it's of. 220,000. So 95,000 of 220,000. Um, so what's that? That's less than 50%, but not way less. A a a anyway, for example, the, the born in the 1980s is, the, is more than twice as many as the next greatest, which was born in the 1990s, which is about half that amount, and a little bit less than that, was 1970s, and then it rapidly falls off. So sort of an interesting demographic. Also, where they found, where they had gender information, it was almost exactly two-thirds male, one-third female. That has 485,000 credentials that had gender information, two-thirds male, one-third female. And then we have, of course, the ever-popular list of the 50 most used passwords. Still solidly in first place is our all-time favorite, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and the, the, the runner-up for first place, of course, is just password. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing that sites still allow you to enter that as, as a password. Or even one, two, three, four, five, six. That just it must be, you know, these must be old sites because i don't yeah. think you can do that today no. in, in most yeah. sites they just won't let you get away with that yeah. third most popular add a seven eight to the <laughs> end of one two three four five six uh then then of course qwerty is there <laughs> anyway the, uh, the link is in the show notes for anyone who's interested at, or it's just wpengine.com slash unmasked so if our if our if our real-time listeners are curious or somebody listening to the podcast near a web uh, browser, wpengine.com slash unmasked, U-N-M-A-S-K-E-D. Uh, as we were noting earlier, Monkey has fallen down to the 15th place. Uh, actually, just looks like it's been pushed down by a lot of simple numeric passcodes or passwords, which is disturbing. Let me in is still there in number 16. Um, for some bizarre reason, Michael is number 20. Mustang is 21. Uh, and it sort of goes on there. So there's, you know, the, the top 50 are, are uh, those we've seen before. I, I got a kick out of the next thing, which was they looked at the, when a site tells you that you must have a number you know, a digit in your password. A password cannot be all alpha, you know, alphabetic. You must have a digit. Well, <laughs> what do people do? There's one of these heat maps showing, uh, you know, where the area is is the is the number of times it occurred relative to the others, and almost a quarter of just about a quarter of them is just the digit one. So. 
if you're if a site says, oh no, you can't, you know, you can't just use that. You've got to have a digit. So someone says, okay, fine. Oh, actually, there's the percentage. Twenty three point eight four percent. Simply put, literally the digit one after it. Now there's a slightly more creative group. Six point seven two percent. Instead, use the digit two. Uh, we drop to about half that to 3.86% who just jump right to the digit three. They don't mess around with one and two first uh, and so on. But, you know, it, again, there it's some interesting demographic breakdown. Uh, uh, and it actually sort of goes almost numerically. One, two, three, then one, two, then seven, then five, then four, then six, then nine, then eight. But basically, if people are told they have to have a digit, they just tack one on the end and almost a quarter of the time, it's just the digit number one uh, to satisfy the requirements. And then the, the last thing, way scrolling way down, Leo, the keyboard patterns. That This is the other analysis that I thought was really interesting that I hadn't seen before, which is the, it, it, they, they looked at passwords and mapped them to where the keys were on the keyboard. And so this page shows the 20 most common keyboard patterns occurring within those 10 million passwords. And as we already said, of course, there's Q-W-E-R-T-Y, which is just the first six keys uh, in lowercase across the top row from left to right of the keyboard. And then you, so, uh, the second most common is you keep going a little bit further. Maybe you think, okay, well, eight letters or six is not enough, I'll go for 10. So then they they keep going to UIOP, which actually is all of the top alphabetic characters on the keyboard. Then some people get a little more, a little more clever. The third most common is 1QAZ. So that's coming down the, the leftmost diagonal from 1 down to Z, so the upper left to the lower left. Then, since they haven't really gotten, you know, critical mass yet, they go back up and do two and come down the same, you know, the adjacent diagonal to X. So that's the third most common. And then the fourth is they don't go up into the out in, in, into the numerics at all. They they probably will after they get spanked for not doing that. But then, but but those guys just go diagonal staying in the alphabetic. Anyway, it turns out that there are many, many of the passwords that have been found that look a little bit gibberishy, also look sort of suspiciously familiar. And it's because, in fact, they are just derived from a from a from some sort of a, of a linear sequence of of key tops on the keyboard. I'm and trying to figure out this number twenty, which by the way, he's he actually poses as a puzzle. I that haven't read the answer. You're right. A that's completely J M P T W. It is alpha. I know it's alphabetical order, uh, and it is from a left to right. A D G J M P T W. I don't see a pattern. Yes. A D A, A D G skips every other, but then, uh, but then J doesn't. Uh, otherwise, it would be K. You're right, Leo. That's. Uh, and uh, okay, so and apparently that's happened many times. There's, I mean, that that's the twentieth most fr frequent occurrence. Oh, there's an unimaginative one. Uh, M N B V C X. So that's the lower row of alphabetic right to left. Boy, we really need to get away from passwords. <laughs> we need to get away from keyboard, <laughs> keyboards. <laughs> we really need. And then uh, we've also got they they analyzed on. Um, on iPhones with the keypad, the 20 most used, what they called key walk. Um, or I, am I confusing that with what's above? No, because that's keyboard and they are definitely showing it on the, on the iPhone, although they're not showing, uh, th th they're not breaking it down in the same fashion. But, it, but so the idea is that people are doing a, a simple series of 10 keypad entries and and creating passwords that way also and then uh and then what is this the 10 most common word selections in 10 million passwords so again uh oh they broke it down by category fruits animals uh m m 
A- anything colors, you noun, the, verb. Yeah. I love yeah. dot 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 my dot dot dot, dot, dot days dot. of the week. Yeah. Number one name and passwords, John. Number two, At, David. Number one superhero, of course, <laughs> Batman. Number three or number two, Superman, then Iron Man. Who's Hawkeye? Hawkeye oh. Pierce? No, come on. Don't you know your superheroes? I don't know my superheroes. Yeah. Oh. Well, Hawkeye's like a Spider-Man. superhero. I, I would have thought Spider Man would be higher up there. Who's Gambit? <laughs> Is Gambit a superhero? <laughs> no, you're asking the wrong guy. I'm not <laughs> Thor, yeah. I know. Wolverine, I know. Punisher and yeah. Cyclops. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought that was fun. Uh, And, you know, nothing very surprising. As I said, we got to get away from those passwords.